Today we're going to take a look at prime factorization. Uh, we did this in term one, but it was a concept that was challenging, it was difficult, um, and it needs review. It's something in high school uh, you need to be pretty comfortable with. Okay? So just remember, uh, prime factorization is breaking a large number down into its prime factors. Uh, primes are only divisible by one in itself. So if we think of the number 100, we know that 50 is a factor. But uh, when we do prime factorization, we don't worry about things like 50. We, we only worry about primes. So our primes that we should be remembering, because we don't really consider one, because if you divide something by one, it doesn't get smaller. Uh, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. Uh, just memorizing those seven would be really helpful. Uh, these are the rules. If your number is even, divide it by two. If your number is uh, ends with a zero or a five, divide it by five. Even the even numbers. It's easier to divide even uh, numbers that end in zero uh, by five. Uh, you might need to test the other primes. Okay, so let's get to a couple of examples. So if I'm doing prime factorization of 16, and I go back up to my rules, uh, the first one applies. It's an even number. I can divide it by 2. I circle my primes. So I, I've divided 16 by 2, and I've got 8 left over. I can do this on my calculator. So now I'm working with 8. The, once that's got a circle, once I've got a prime, that branch is closed. It's like a tree. It, it, the limb's cut off. Yeah, I don't need to do anything further there. So I'm left with 8. 8 is also even, so I again, I divide it by 2. And I, I'm left with 4. Uh, so now this part is finished. I'm left with the final 4. I divide it. It's even. I divide it by 2. Uh, so this is my prime factorization of 16. After I'm left with two primes at the bottom, I'm finished. And then just realize, when I write it out, I've got 2 to the power of 4, because I've got 4 of them. Or I could actually write it as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, that was an easy one. Let's go a little bit more challenging. So 30, it ends in a 0. It's an even number, but it ends in 0. I could start with 2, but my rules kind of tell me if I start with 5, it's easier. So I divide 30 by 5. I've got my prime. I circle it. I'm left with 6. 6 is an even number, so I divide it by 2, and I'm left with 3. Okay, I know 3 is prime, so I can circle that as well, and I'm finished. Okay, so 30 as prime factorization is 5 times 3 times 2. Let's go a little bit more challenging again. I've got 42. Um, it's even, so I'm going to divide it by 2. I divide it by 2 and I'm left with 21. Now 21 is an odd number, and 21 is a number that, that to some people it might look prime. So I should test it. Uh, I would test 21 with with 3. I don't need to test it with 5 because 5 only divides into zeros and 5s. Uh, so 3, 7, and 11 maybe. Okay, so I divide 21 by 3, and I actually get 7, which is also a prime. Okay, that's why memorizing those first few primes is actually really helpful. Okay, so it looks difficult, but it's not. I just have to follow my procedure. So my prime factorization is 7 times 3 times 2. You try 60. So pause your video and we'll take it up in a second. Okay, let's do this. So I've got 60. It ends in a 0, so I'm going to divide it by 5. I could divide by 10, uh, but that wouldn't give me any primes. I could divide by 2 because it's even, but... I always find dividing by 5 is the easiest way to go. So I divide by 5, and I'm left with 12. 
So I circle my 5 because it's prime. I'm left with 12, which is composite. It ends in a 2. Okay, so it's even. I'm going to divide it by 2. Okay. So I've divided my 12 by 2. I'm left with 6. And now I divide my 6, which is even, by 2, and I get 3. Okay, so my prime factorization will be 5 times 3 times 2 times 2. Or 5 times 3 times 2 to the power of 2, because there's two of them. Okay, so that's a refresher. I'm going to give you uh, four or five of them to try. Um, and good luck with it.